Okay, so GVM's 4200 GVM on a 300 series. So this comes across our desk every single day. You know, guys that go, I need 4200, I need to be able to tow. Some guys, I need the GCM increase, etc. How do you ensure that you're getting what you ask for? So just because you have a 4200 GVM does not mean that you're able to use it. And this is the problem we're seeing every day. So the issue becomes, when this car's loaded to 4200, what you end up with is you can only put bull bar winch on the front, side rails, people in the car. After that, everything else goes into the back of the car. It either goes onto your tow ball and some of the load in your car, you might get some on a roof rack, but not very much. So, through our demonstration of loading exercise, what we actually did was we took this particular vehicle and we loaded it to 4200. Now, what we did, it was on its best case scenario. So, what we did is we have obviously bull bar, heavy side steps, etc. Um, we have a Kmar bar on the back with a tire with a 35 on it. Obviously, we've got 35, so we've got more weight up the front because those tires are particularly heavier than most normal tires. But what, what it demonstrated was we put four people in the car. Now, these guys were all 80 to 100 kilos. So loading the, the four to five seats in the front with weight and the rear seat with weight. All the other weight we put in the back in bags of concrete. So we did that so we can measurably remove and add as we need to do it to get those weights right. With four guys at 100 kilos, 80 to 100 kilos each in that vehicle, and all the load in the back of the car, what we ended up with, we needed a minimum of 2,600 kilos of axle load. Now, if you were to put two people in the car and put some of that weight out of the rear of the car and put it on the tow ball, that would increase. So that would increase, you know, could up go up to 27, 2750. Remembering that the further back the weight goes, the more cantilever you have, the lighter the front becomes, the heavier the rear becomes. So 350 kilos on a tow ball then equates to you know 1.4 on the rear axle. So as you keep loading these cars, so what we're clearly seeing and guys coming through is I've got a 4200, I've only got 2400 kilos of axle load, I can't use it. I can't load and tow my van. I can't get it. Some customers are going, well, I've got a GVM with a GCM upgrade with 2,400 kilos. Doesn't work. You can't practically load that vehicle. So adding the two sums of the front and the rear axle to come up with a specific figure, jamming them together and go, hey, I can make 4,200 is not the methodology of a GVM or even a GVM GCM upgrade. It doesn't work. You need practical loading ability. I'm assuming that some companies don't even test for it. They don't even test to see that you've got enough axle capacity. If you're raising this car by eight or 900 kilos in its GVM from Toyota, you can't just add two or 300 kilos on the rear axle and go, hey, we're gonna, we're gonna make it work because Toyota already knew we're gonna put four or five occupants in the car at 63 kilos, a bull bar, which Toyota supply from factory, side rails, etc. Everything else goes in the back, so you need the axle capacity. But the reality of it is, uh, you need 26 to 2,800 kilos of axle load to make a 4,200 work in a 300 series. So uh, thanks for joining us, guys.